द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी हैव लाइक वेब एप्लीकेशन हैकिंग राइट और वेब सर्वर एंड देन विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेब एप्लीकेशन हैकिंग राइट नाउ तो इफ रिमेंबर देन वॉट वी डिड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर वेब सर्वर हैकिंग सिंपल वी टॉक्ट अबाउट हाउ वी कैन गैदर द इन्फॉर्मेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मैकेजम इन द वेब सर्वर हैकिंग राइट एंड देन विद द हेल्प ऑफ हाइड्रा टूल्स और अप्लीकेशन अप्लीकेशन वी ट्रैक दैट एफ टी पी पासवर्ड राइट अब वी कैन से गेदर द पासवर्ड टू लॉग इन इन साइड आवर सिस्टम ना द नेक्स्ट वर्ड वी हैव दैट हाउ वी कैन एक्सप्लॉयट और हैक वेब अपलिकेशन दैट रनिंग मे बी ओवर द सर्वर सो वॉट एक्जैक्टली द वेब अपलिकेशन यू गैज नो दैट राइट कि दैट कैंड ऑफ टूल्स और सॉफ्टवेयर दैट रनिंग ऑन एनी वेब सर्वर दैट वी कैन एक्सेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेब ब्राउजर राइट एंड इट अलाउ एंड इट अलाउ यू टू uh uh we can say discover whatever content over the web applications portal right so as an ethical hacker or we can say as an attacker what we can do we can simple uh, gather the information about that web application and then we can exploit those particular um uh, uh we can say those uh, app- application whatever application you have that right so there is a lot of mechanisms with the help of that mechanism we can perform those random task and those and then those random services right so again before um, hack those application the very first point we need to gather the information right like how we can um, use that particular um, information tool or inform gathering tool to exploit our web application so very first point what we have that right so gathering informations right with the help of different different tool before exploit your um, web applications right so what we have that the very first when we are talking about those things right so are you guys aware of the telnet and then the nmap earlier in the web application if you guys remember the web server you guys remember we have also netcat as well nc command right so this command used to verify or used to search that the services or port is open or not over that particular port number or host right so how we can um, um reconnaissance or having gather information with the help of nmap and telnet right so command you guys know that with the help of nmap you can verify those things either we have also inbuilt it our pre script in this particular nmap with the help of nmap we can also follow the same thing right so how we can uh, how we can gather the information so let's suppose we have a systems right we can say we have like attacker machines so let's suppose this is my attacker machines and from this attacker machine what i'm going to do that <laughs> right i'm going to simple first scan about my victim machines right so let's suppose there is a machines we can say my victim machines that ip have something like 10.10.1.19 right i want to check the services details or services informations about this particular hosts if you notice now these ports are services these port and services are open over this particular servers we can say the 1.19 right now with the help of these information we are going to simple um search those uh, information uh, search those um, uh, applications vulnerabilities and then find extra informations to um, exploit those web applications so again what point we have that we have multiple tool you guys can use this particular nmap if the firewall is enabled and all those things what you can do use that you can simply use this particular nmap template for then we can say in the aggressive mode and then the v right it show those all the information how we can use that you guys already know this command so we can say nmap then we have like a term template aggressive mode verbose and then the host that want to scan that right it show all the information in the gracy mode right the what the what the ports are open right and then the services details and all those things right and also get the information in this particular stealth mode right even the firewall is enabled or not so in that case we can also verify it. so we can also use this particular stealth mode either you can mention those uh, ip either what we have that we have applications or we can say websites configure over there we can say that movies.com uh, moviescope.com with the help of those things you can also verify so we have like target right if you notice now we have this information it will show that we these are application running on windows machines right these are uh, your host informations right the certificate details and then issuer name the public key type they are using rsa dsc or something like that they they provide all the detail right 
so again you can also worry you can also check the machine's name we can see the net bias name dns name and also you can find the mac addresses and other informations too as well for this particular websites or particular web servers right so a okay, will take time let me provide those name actually um, instead of this particular ip because the name we are providing the it's host so it's work faster i guess to moviescope.com okay so anything anything we can say that right so over this server these ports are open okay checking those services detail again it will take time not more than a minute but again it will take time okay here we got the information yeah. okay yeah so uh, these are your uh, host detail the name and the ip address of those machines correct and uh, then we have like our uh, server net bias name for remember that we have like nbt state so we have like net bias name net bias user is unknown then that then we have like mac addresses right then again what we have that the servers detail we can say 19 work group and all those things right the date and then the security is more they are using that right so signing enabled uh, but not required just for the information and these are uh, another detail yeah here right the dns uh, computer's name the dns domain name the system date and time the certificate the issuer certificate the public key type and then the public key size right and then the what algorithm they are using they are using rsa right and these are like encryption mechanism we can say such something something like that right so these are information with the help of these information what we can do we can simple authenticate and provide those kind of uh, details so after finding those information the type the certificate detail and all those things what we can do we can find those kind of vulnerabilities to exploit the systems right so all those are remain same all the process are remain same depend on that like uh, depend on that like how you guys wanted to access those things right so with the help of nmap what we can do we can simply find these informations right similarly what we have the next so with the help of telnet so telnet we already did in this particular uh, web application uh, web server hacking as well so what you can do that you can simply mention those website we can see a website that name is something any website you can took that it's not about that movie scope right you can use any website that have some kind of bug and all those things it will find those so more maximum the public website have a um, uh, telnet is disabled so depend on that like how want to access those things you can access in that way if you notice now right so what exactly we have that right they are mentioning that uh, the port it is open and what's the port number uh, what's the version of those http actually you they're using that so what you can do that you can simply find the vulnerabilities of that particular http version from the different different vulnerable portal right so this is also a mechanism to gathering the information with the help of telnet command about your web applications right so it will take time if you notice now what they mentioned that they simply provide this information right there should be versions right the content type they're using html format and all those things right the last modify they are using the microsoft i mean this server hosted on the microsoft over the is server 1.10.0 you can see the internet information server and the language they are using something like that uh, asp dot uh, net and all those details right so it will take time actually with the help of these things we can find those informations right so telnet is also a mechanism that used to check the connections right the connections are enabled or not stable or not so depend like how want to access that you can access in that way correct so it will take time let it run i'm just opening a new tab now the next part we have that again if you wanted to find the information about the again web application so we have a tool that we can say what web so what exactly they have that right the simple we can say with the help of what web this command used to show about the server type we can say you're using apache nginx ias or passenger right the small description of that particular um, server we can say that right and then the ip addresses right maybe if something are open we can say the country the state the zip code and other information maybe that is are open right so what wave simple we can say it show information about that particular web applications or web server how we can do that the very first point you guys need to install the package which package the what wave either you can download from the github as well so install what wave first right now simple run a command like what wave 
okay and simple mention the website name or the url that wanted to um, access with the help of this particular uh, portal so let's suppose in my case what i'm going to do that we have portal we can say web uh, something we can say www dot we can say we have portal something like that let's suppose that right i want to get the information about this domain right so this command will simple show the information about the server type the ip addresses the small descriptions right countries and other details the cru it's not we can see the crucial depend on that like what word you are using that so depend on that you can check that okay here we got the information right if you notice now what we have that even though they are providing the open email as well yeah if you notice now right okay so if you notice now what we have that these are our portal right and right so make sure that should be open i mean that should be publicly available so in that case you guys can access those application and then those uh, urls right so what point i want to say that right we are using apache 200 means what we can see the application and their portal is working fine so we can say we have like apache server right these are some cookies right and then the session id we can say the web technology sessions and all right countries and then the open email addresses training inquiries info something something so these are like uh, open email addresses right the frame right and then this is for the read only permission instead of only right the ip addresses of this particular um, uh, websites we can say that the metadata author who is the author of the metadata right then uh, the password field that are mentioned in the password right and then the scripts right and then the small title about this particular um, uh, websites we can say that correct so with the help of this information what we can say we can simply get the information and then we can simply check that like uh, the web servers and all other different different information to as well correct right similarly we have another portal to as well we can say that is open here we have right so we have the same actually server right and then the apache and then we have some example and then small title this particular or this particular sites right so what way we can see that they are going to store the information of this particular portal and this particular information right if you notice now what we have that that identify the website recognize the web technology what they're using that including the content management system blogging platform and other uh, detail like javascript libraries web server and embedded devices right it also identify the versions number email addresses account id and other information something like that right so again what wave is like a small point with the help of these small uh, point we can simply get the information and then provide i, I mean and gather the information to exploit those particular systems